Oh boy. Guess who lost the footage and got to play that dungeon again? It was me, Angry Poncho here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Oracle of Time. In this episode, we are gonna repeatedly miss while swinging at this knight. Soldier friend. He has the same broadsword from Bravely Default. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. We get to go and talk to our, our old friend, and I do mean old, Sahasarala, who is gonna give us some brand new kicks. Run, metal, run, I'll run my gun. Oh, you got the Pendant of Courage. What if he just walked in and he's just kind of singing to himself? Like, oh, yeah, the now I'll tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, I don't know exactly how long, an order of knights protected the royalty of the Hylia. The knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendant of Courage, which I've now stolen. You can stop running. <laughs> he's just standing. Link's just got like his mid-run pose. Like he's about to like leap off the blocks at the start of a race. He's just, he's set. He's just always ready. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against evil that took place when the seven wise men created their seal. Remember that from the opening cutscene? Among the descendants of the knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. Punch, I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants. I guess there's like an implicit implicit line from Link there where he's like, I'm the hero. And he's like, oh, I see. Take this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the wise man. I want you to have it. Here, take these 200-year-old shoes. <laughs> now we can run fast. A helpful item. Oh, yes. Can I... Uh, I don't want to dash. I want to pick up these things. So these broken walls... Make a different sound. And uh, the ones that have all these, like, a really big cracked area like this, you don't even have to use bombs. You just dash right into them. Look at that, huh? Got yourself money and some bombs. Thank you for explaining that. I already know what bombs are. There's no tutorials for when you get rupees. It's like, you got 50 rupees. Use it to buy things. Oh, 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 excuse me, Sir Hospital. Uh, see you later, buddy. I'll talk to you at our next uh, wall FaceTime. FaceTime tablet. Whatever the Actually, tablet is totally the right word for that, isn't it? Sprint away! Oh, yeah, it's so great. That's just one of those RPG things where it's like, Oh, I'm so glad I got that ability back. All right. Now I'm going to save and quit. Because I'm done. I've had enough of this game. Fuck Let's Playing. I, I'm just... I'm retiring. No, I'm just kidding. Pick up that controller. Say it ain't so, Punch. No, I'm saving and quitting because if I come back in from the title screen... You can see how excited Punch is at the end. <laughs> Look at Link. He is... He's like, ha! I can start from the Sanctuary, which is where I want to be. So, huzzah! We're there. Look, Zelda, I got one of the pendants. You should follow the Mark's Elder Maid on your map. <laughs> if you don't know what to do, visit a fortune teller. That is actually really good in this game. They, uh... They the fortune tellers are, are, like, navvy, except they don't follow you around annoying you. They only... Give you advice if you ask them, but you do have to pay for it. So, just west of the sanctuary here, there's sort of a hillside up here with these one of these piles of stones. We can destroy that by smacking our face against it. And then down in here, heart piece! Oh yeah! We just love getting heart pieces, don't we? Now we're going to take a little side trip through Kakariko Village. No, nope. so excited! Look at this guy. They're both so happy to be fighting me now. Come on, come on, come on! There we go. Thank you. Jump off the ledge. I like how Link opens his mouth for like one frame when he swings. Like he doesn't make the sound effect, but you can just imagine the yeah, ah, yeah, and like you know how he does. Oh, here's the fortune teller up here. Let me show you what what this is. He's got the. You can recognize the fortune teller because he's got Goatsy above his door. Yeah, you'll never unsee that. Hmm, you look like you might have an interesting destiny. Oh my god, it turned into a Yoda voice. It was going to be an old man, but it became Yoda. Hmm, your fortune, may I tell? Oh, I can't do the Yoda voice. That was just painful. Ask him to tell it. He, he does the same moves as Akinim, just waving his hands up and down. Abracadabra, Alakazam, you will open a desert lock with the Book of Medora. And he takes some money. 
Some fortunes cost more than others. Don't ask me how he decides what to charge you. I just read the fortunes. I don't... Oh, look at that. And down here, there's a cuckoo. It's not important. I just love the sound they make. <laughs> He's like, ah, ah, Oh, God, put me down! I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the constant clucking is so hilarious to me. Alright, so that was a really fast kid down here. I want to see if I can find him. Because he's... I want to chase him down. I want to show him who's got the real speed now. So you gotta, like, get him on... You gotta, like, get near him. And then... And then... And then... Oh! Oh! He got away! He's so fast! The trick is, you have to actually get near him. And then start sprinting. Because if you just sprint into him, it won't trigger the dialogue. I'm gonna go around. There's more distance on the right side. Uh, it won't trigger the dialogue, and he'll just run. Where was he here? So you gotta get up close. And as soon as he starts to move, you start sprinting, and you'll catch him. I can't believe you caught me! With your speed, it must have been easy to kidnap Zelda! You fiend! You don't look like such a bad guy, though. Anyway, because you have, you have such quick feet, it might be a good idea to run and bash into many things. For example, the trees in this village have many useful things hanging in their branches. Just try it, okay? What am I gonna find, a gold skull tool? Oh, there's, there's someone, someone left some money in the trees. Okay. Thanks, fast boy. And right down here, there is a library. You can tell because there's a book and a quill above the door. Which would be more like a scribe shop than a library. And up on top of the shelf there is a book. We'll retrieve it in usual librarian fashion, slamming into the bookshelf so it falls off. You found the Book of Medora. Use it to read the ancient language of the Hylia. Pretty cool. Apparently the way the Hylian language works in Zelda, I believe this is how it works, uh, just based on my experience with Wind Waker. So you guys correct me if I'm, uh, if I'm wrong about this. I do believe that Hylian letters translate roughly into Japanese. There's like a, a key for it, basically. Like this, mean, this letter means this kind of kana or whatever. I don't know exactly how it works, but basically it translates into Japanese, and then you have, you have to translate that into English. And I don't think I can lift this rock. Nope, not strong enough. Got to go around. I'm headed towards the the swamp to get us another heart piece. This one's kind of a fun one. It's actually one that's really uh, obvious later, but it's available now, and there's nothing stopping us from just running over there and getting it, so... Why not, right? Where am I? Oh, let's just lower the south. Oh, it's attempting to come from the... Look at these! Look at these! Oh, they're on both screens. Look at these guards popping out of the bushes! <laughs> like... Like... <laughs> Shoot an arrow and go back down. I'm not even over there. He's just... He's just shooting arrow... Oh! <laughs> Excuse me, Puddle. He's just shooting arrows so his boss will, will, you know, look over and say, Oh, he looks busy. Let's, uh, push these blocks one way and get bombs. Oh, it's exciting. It's not what I'm here for. So you see all the puddles around here? <laughs> I'm sure you noticed the puddle. I, I somehow managed to not to and walked right into it. But I'm sure you guys all saw it. Well, you can come in here, pull on this lever, and we can let all the water into the dungeon. This is actually, I think this is the fourth dungeon? So we won't be doing this one for a bit. But it has a light world component, which, oh, spoilers. Uh, there it was. And over here where the puddle was, there's a piece of heart. And oh my god, these fish! Oh, they're dying! Come here! Come here! Oh, I'm gonna save you, little dude. Don't worry. I'll take you to deeper water. I got your back, friend. Let's go to Lake Hylia. <laughs> Gotta watch out. Enemies all around. They want my fish! Legend of Zelda. Fish quest. Oh my god. Oh! Oh no! I dropped my fish friend! Come here. Stop it, Octorox. Octorox and crabs. Everybody wants a piece of my fish, man. Oh, I want to go in that cave. But I gotta save my fish friend first. Let's go over here to the water. Swim! Be free! <laughs> Take some rupees, but don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep it between us, okay? I wonder if that fish is... Can I... I can't reach those, friend. Thank you. Um, I wonder if that fish is related to the fish from Wind Waker. <laughs> Why not, right? That's 
Talking fish! He doesn't fill out my map or anything, but... You know, there he is. You just sneak across the bottom there. They don't want you to know, but you can! Pits have some weird stuff going on in this game. Like, sometimes you can sneak along the edges where you're clearly not intended to, and other times you can do specific inputs that will actually prevent you from falling in pits when you otherwise would have. Hello. We got some bombs! Let's talk to this guy. Take some rupees, but don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep between us, okay? This game has the most generous thieves. Man, we're gonna have 999 rupees before long. Alright, we're, yeah, we're already up to 850. Oh my gosh. That's cool, though. I mean, we can go to the uh, potion shop and buy potions. We already went there to get the magic powder. Alright, we're gonna head around the Lake Hylia now. Oh! Oh! I didn't see him in time. This, this crow is bothering me. Get out of here, you. That's a Zora down there. This is, remember, this was the third Zelda games. This is back when Zoras were enemies. And they had green and orange colors. Hmm. I've looked at some of their... Oh! A bee! A bee! Like, ah. Oh, oh, come on now. Gotcha. They got a lot of changes throughout the series, haven't they? I mean, hell, in Wind Waker, they became birds! It's like some weird evolution going on. Dinosaurs turning into birds and shit. Fish people turning into birds. Maybe, maybe that's, just, that's, just, that's, that's, that's just how evolution ends. Every species eventually becomes birds. Wouldn't that be really crazy if that was really what happened? And we just don't have enough fossil record intact for us to realize it yet? Anyway, there's, just, there's a cave up here if you walk around the lake. And we can bomb a whole wall here. I already had the bomb with some quips. If you know what's coming if you recognize the music here. Yeah, yeah. So many classic Zelda themes. So I think I have both of my bottles full. I tried to, yeah, copy what I did in the last run. I'm actually going to let one out. I'm going to give these fairies a, a friend. There you go. Look! I saved another fairy! I, I brought you all here to get- Nom oh, nom 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 nom. So if you charge into this statue here, a bee comes out. But it's got sparkles on it? It's- I've never done this before. You caught a bee! What will you do? Keep it in a bottle. Huh. Good bee. <laughs> A good bee. A decent bee. Apparently, if you let this sucker out, he'll fight enemies for you. I've never done it before, so we're gonna we're gonna experiment with it together. And to the left here are a bunch of blocks you can't push. I'm gonna just point this out now, because it'll be relevant again later. Oh my god, Link's eye is like falling- his- look at his pupil is like falling out of his eye! What the fuck? He looks normal when he's running and stuff, but... I just realized, when he stands still like that, his right eye, or his, his right, your left, is like, dripping out. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm just gonna face sideways. I'm not okay, I'm not okay with this. Um, one of my biggest complaints about this game, and my only real design complaint, is that you can never tell when you're allowed to push these blocks, and when you're not. There's, a, there's some examples later on that are even worse, and I'll show you. Uh, I'll point it out when we get there, where it's just completely inconsistent. And there's no way to tell by looking at a block when you walk into a room whether or not you're going to be able to interact with it. And it's kind of a shame. Alright, let's blow up on this other cave. Just not, not so hidden once you realize, hmm, there's another room to the left in here that I can't get into. And we charge up the tunnel. Now, this is really cool. This is a really useful item. The Ice Rod! Its chill magic blasts the air! But watch your magic meter! Yeah, we definitely gotta watch our magic meter. This, the Ice Rod is actually required to beat the game, and it's in this out-of-the-way cave on the corner of Lake Hylia. I imagine that if you spoke to a fortune teller before going into the dungeon, probably right before going into the dungeon where it's required, that he would tell you that you needed to come to Lake Hylia and explore a cave or something like that. But it's just, it's weird to me that an item that's required to beat a boss, like, way later on. I think it's actually the second... I think it's the last boss before the final boss. You have to have the Ice Rod to beat him. And it's in an out-of-the-way area that isn't near his dungeon. And it's just sort of... weird that it's required, but strangely out of the way. I don't know. Anyway, 
We're headed west now. We're going to the desert. So you, could, you could go through the whole game, and you could feasibly get all the way up to that... <laughs> these guys. You could get all the way up to that boss. Oh. And then just be stuck. I'm sure that there are a lot of people who got to that boss, got into that room, and then just... Whoops. You know, you just died. They figured, I don't know how to beat this boss. Maybe, maybe... I wonder how many people quit and, like, didn't finish the game because they didn't have the ice rod and didn't know they were supposed to have the ice rod. What are you doing? Dot, 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 dot. What is this? Pay no attention to the average middle-aged man standing by this sign. Leave him alone. You know what? I'm taking your sign. He's following me. Hey! Hey! Oi! Oi! Give back my sign! Give back my... What's he gonna do? I'm taking it, buddy. Ah! My sign. Look at this. This is the this is the carrying things around episode. Oh, he got another one. Fine. What's in this cave? I don't remember what's in here. Oh, it's a fairy. There's a bunch of different kinds of fairies in this game. There's like four kinds of fairies. There's the little ones you catch in bottles. There's that kind. There's the kind that uh, are slightly bigger than that kind and give you items. If you throw in items, they upgrade stuff. And then there's an even bigger fairy. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> if you've beaten this game before, make nice nudge. That also upgrades items for you and gives you a really... <laughs> that vulture's like, ah, I'm just gonna sit here. So that's four kinds of fairies. Three of which are like fountain fairies and one of which is the bottle kind. It's kind of weird though. They differentiated that much. And then up here... This is another one of those old man hideouts. All these hermits living in caves. I guess that's just a Zelda thing, isn't it? I mean, think about how many of those there were in the first Zelda. This is like Saraslaha's twin brother. Ah, it is the Book of Medora. With it, you can read the language of the Hylia people. I wonder if this guy would also tell you that you needed to go get it. I'm sure if you get lost in this game, the idea is to talk to NPCs and somebody will tell you where to go. Anyway, you blow up in the wall there. Heart piece! That makes three. It's too bad we can't get one more before the, the next dungeon, but I don't think there are any more available at the moment. So, let's go find the next dungeon. Spoilers, we're already pretty close to it. I did this in in a planned ahead route, would you believe it? Look how efficient that was. We got like a, a bunch of shit. Oh god, he's doing jazz hands. I don't know what these guys popping out of the sand are supposed to be, but they're both horrifying and hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's great. Yeah, I hear you. Eh. Go away. Go away, bird. It's a bird, bird, bird. <laughs> you gotta, like, kind of lead him a little. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. Alright, so if we go up here, you'll find... What is this? The L is real? I can't read it. But if you hold up the Book of Medora to open the way to go forward, make your wish here, and it will be granted. I wish! <laughs> Actually, that looks more like praying, doesn't it? I wonder if the, in the Japanese text... You know what? I would almost bet. I have to push A. Alright, I'm wishing really hard, guys. Everyone, put your wishes down in the comments. Link needs your wishes. If you want the temple to open, you should probably wish for that. Just, you know... Just saying. Help me out. Please? Please? 